No, this title isn't clickbait. In this video, I'm going to show you how something I did to help my girlfriend with her Etsy shop helped increase visits by over 10,000% and you can do it too. Now, I'm actually very lazy. It's both a blessing and a curse. If there's an easier way to do something, I like to try and find it, even if that sometimes takes longer than actually doing the thing I'm trying to simplify. My girlfriend Donna runs an Etsy shop called Tinted Treasures, which sells interesting vintage and antique items. So I asked Donna what takes the most time in a business, and she said after a full day of work at a main job, coming home and trying to come up with a decent creative description for each product that she lists can be tough. I was like, whoa, project. And it didn't matter how much time I spent on it because it would save her time forever going forward once I'd cracked it. Now, in my previous life, I wrote software to automate and simplify repetitive business tasks. So I built on her a little software system that plugs into Etsy to manage her stock, her cost, her item photos, and it can publish listings straight to Etsy at the click of a button. Now, while this is pretty cool and I'm proud of it and it kept me off the street corners for a bit while I built it, it's not the technology that this video is about. And also because her shop's called Tinted Treasures, the management system is lovingly called the Tinted IT system. <laughs> so to help her write those product descriptions and keep them punchy, I wanted someone or something to write it for us, but I'm also really cheap and I don't want to pay anyone to do it. Now, I'm fascinated by the field of artificial intelligence. In a nutshell, artificial intelligence, or AI, is the pursuit of making computers able to think like humans. Until AI rises up against us and takes over the world, in its current form, we can use it in some pretty cool ways. I'm working on a separate video at the moment called AI Should Terrify You Too for this one reason. And yes, it sounds a bit clickbaity, but to be honest, I've actually freaked myself out just researching the script for it. Hit the subscribe button to know when that video comes out. It's a pretty eye-opening video, to be fair. So if you've seen any of my previous videos, like the app that lets you talk to ghosts, you'll know that I'm a fan of using AI in programming. So to start with, inside the tinted IT system, I added a button labeled Generate Description. Now, provided that there's a good, accurate title in the box above, which in this case is Antique 19th Century Le Jockey Club Paris Binoculars, my code then sends this title off down the internet wires to OpenAI's servers, prefixed with the words, write a description for the following product. The AI then looks at these words in the title and writes, from what it knows of the world, what it thinks is a good description for the product. It sends this back and I write it out into the description box along with our standard text. These binoculars are a must have for any antique collector or lover of 19th century French history. So obviously it knows that it's French because it mentions Paris. They are made of the finest materials and offer a clear view of the world around you. So it knows what binoculars are, whether you're using them for bird watching, nature walks, or simply to get a closer look at the world around you, these binoculars are sure to give you a clear view. A computer's written that. A computer that knows what binoculars are has come up with that perfectly legitimate sentence. So let's try another one for an item that she's already got in her shop. Vintage 60s Judge Pyrex Toledo pattern casserole dish. Now I've got no idea what half of those words mean. Let's see what the computer makes of it. This stunning casserole dish is perfect for any retro and mid-century modern kitchen. Cool. The Toledo pattern is a beautiful example of 1960s Pyrex and this dish is in excellent condition. It's perfect for any occasion, whether you're hosting a dinner party or just making a simple meal for your family. A person could have written that. I've put zero thought into that description. I don't even know what the product is myself and it's written this and I'd say that's perfectly acceptable. Certainly a great basis to improve upon. I'm sure Donna knows more about it than I do so she could add to that. Let's try another one. Vintage black and white Wade apothecary jar. Unguetum <laughs> ultralamum. I guess that's what it says on it. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. This rare Wade apothecary jar is a real collector's item. This beautiful black and white glaze is in excellent condition with no chips or cracks. The jar is perfect for storing your favorite herbs or spices. It would also make a great vase for fresh flowers. Let's try another one. Villaroy and Bosch Acapulco pattern small milk jug creamer. What is it gonna make of that? This vibrant Villaroy and Bosch pattern will transport you straight to the sunny shores of Acapulco. The small milk jug creamer is perfect for your morning coffee or tea, holding approximately 3.4 fluid ounces. Where has it got that from? The striking design features Marina Bay against a backdrop of lush green mountains. Let's, let's actually just look at <laughs> what, 
this looks like, because how is it getting this information? It says it features a marina bay against a backdrop of lush green mountains with a bold red border. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's got birds and flowers on it. Where did it get that from? Also made of high quality porcelain, this piece is microwave, dishwasher and oven safe. Is it, is it though? So sometimes it's spookily spot on. Sometimes it's absolutely talking out of its backside, but either way, it gives you a solid foundation to start from, which is all we're really after when it's hard to come up with some upbeat words while staring at a blank box after a full day at work. So there's two main benefits to this system, really. Firstly, it can give some really interesting ideas for the description you might not have thought to include or research. And secondly, by far the best thing is the amount of time that it saves. So Donna can list more items faster on her shop. And this has some pretty impressive knock-on effects. The more listings you have, the more likely you'll have an item that someone wants to buy, so the more sales you make. The more sales you make, the more chances you can get to really impress your customers. And the more you can impress your customers, the more five-star reviews you get, which go towards helping you become a star seller on Etsy, which persuades more people to buy from you. So you grow your shop, you buy more stock, and then you can list that faster because of the system. These aren't my figures to show, because it's not my Etsy shop. Here's the graph of growth for this shop since we've been doing this. And on this visitor graph, Etsy states a 10,609% increase in visitors compared to the previous period when we weren't doing this. So of course you still have to work your socks off to have a successful Etsy shop, but take every boost you can get. Can you do this for your shop? Absolutely. All I need is your credit card number. I'm kidding, ha ha ha. Go to beta.openai.com slash sign up to get started and you'll be having computers do all the hard work for you in no time. You'll just have to copy and paste whatever it creates. Now there is a cost, but I think my bill for an entire month's worth of description writing was 56 American cents or about 46 English pence. How do you think all this is gonna affect the world of retail? Leave me a comment below. So please like this video if you've made it this far. And if you'd like to see my video on how the future of AI scares the bejesus out of me, and honestly it does, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Bye for now.